Sorry, one second. What's the last starting? Are you going to ask? I'm starting now. Uh, I'll just ask you the question now. We've started it already. Uh, now that George Galloway has been elected, uh, how do you, how does that make you feel, and what do you think it's going to uh, do in regards to race and the people of different races of Bradford? Different races of Bradford. I think, I think it, it showed, it showed in our vote yesterday that George won every, every polling station, and there were people of every colour, every creed, every religion. And George has not just won Pakistani or Muslim or Indian dominated areas in Bradford. George has won from every area. People want to change. In regards to race, I mean, I would love to see our white friends coming out and campaigning like we did. We want change for Bradford. They need to come out. We need to integrate and come out with each other and do this. And the local council elections are coming. We need to be with each other and do this. Show that the youth of Bradford are not going to be putting up with people who make decisions for them, good or bad. My parents come to this country, to, so to Bradford. Bradford, why? Because they've got job opportunities. Bradford is a place where you could find a job. Today, if you look around, the youth are so disenchanted, they've got no chances of work, no chances of employment. I run a business, honestly, I have people coming there and standing for an hour on top, saying, please, brother, could you give me a job? It's that bad. Honestly, this is no way to lie. And hopefully, we want to change in Bradford, we want, you know, why didn't our parents settle in Leeds? Today Leeds is the hub of Yorkshire. Bradford was hub of Yorkshire. Bradford was one of the richest cities in the world at one point. And today look at it. We are Bradford Radistanis, if you want to call it. <laughs> yes, Bradford and we're proud and we want to make Bradford a proud city and I'm sure George is going to make it a proud city again. That's great. So uh, do you think if George got elected here 20 years ago, Bradford would be a better place today? I mean that's something you could really ask from George. Maybe George's thinking was a lot different than 20 days. You know, 10 days ago, I was thinking different. I'll be honest, 10 days ago, I was a Labour guy. I'm working for the Labour guy. You know, I was thinking different. We were used to what we're going through. This, this question here, yeah, George could answer you that better because maybe what he, what he was thinking 20 years ago and compared to today, you know, people's thoughts in, the person changes. Opinions change, so yeah, I, I, maybe, maybe George would have been a better person for him. Do you agree maybe with his views on Palestine? Uh, yeah. I, yep. I'm wholeheartedly, because what I'd say first of all, a lot of people were saying in this campaign, oh, it's the Muslim war George is going for. The main thing, you know, I'm hearing a lot from not the non-Muslim communities or the Muslim war George is going for. First of all, let me ask you, what am I? What is she? What is everybody here? We are all human beings, first of all. We are humans. Then I become a Muslim. If I cannot respect the rest of the humanity, what kind of human am I? We have to learn to respect humanity. Where there's oppression, this doesn't mean if there's oppression in Palestine or Iraq or Afghanistan, in Muslim countries. As a human, if there's someone suffering in, say, Guatemala or in Mexico or Chile, when there are, you know, anything kind of earthquakes, as a human, I feel that. As a human, as being a Muslim, you know, we can how can I go to sleep when I'm knowing there's other people, not just Muslims but non-Muslims, who are going to sleep on a hungry summer? That's that's humanity. And if you're not human, that's, you're that's a Muslim's uh, duty to help that's somebody a, that's else. That's a Muslim's duty. Yeah. Let, let me finish up what I was on the As as a human, what kind you know, what we, 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 am, I, am I human? What good is my religion? I could be any race if I cannot respect another human being. And if I and I strongly, I strongly believe let me quickly tell you again, I was one of the only few first people in the Bradford riots whose charges were dropped. I would charge, I would demand it for two weeks. Reason being, on the day, I come out and de demonstrate peacefully. There were shots getting attacked. I got arrested. The police pressed charges against me on uh, racist abuse and assaulted a police officer. But this silly police officer didn't know. Five minutes prior to that, I'd say, I had five shots I saved on that day. But one of the shots I saved, there was CCTV. I did a good act. I did a good act. I didn't know what's going to happen. I did my good deed of the day. Um, the lady gave a statement on my behalf about what was read out in court when my what the reason I believe my charge was dropped. She was saying if it wasn't for this young youth who stood in front of the shops and put him, put him in his own life in danger and helped us. Because I put myself on a set of lad, get out. And then a mad crowd, uh, you know, the, the angry crowd, angry mob was there and they, they would have 
just come, they'll do a little bit of breaking up there, and I've, you know, put myself in there. And I just think about risking myself, and I don't believe of risking. What do you believe of the risk of another riot now that George is in power here? The thing is, personally, personally, I was there on the day of riots, it could have been handled much better. I know it could have been handled better. So you believe better. it will happen again if George is here now? I, I believe George wouldn't let the police and everybody get away with it like that, no. I don't think he's, George is too much of a strong person. He's not just going to condemn the Asian community or the, you know, he, George is going to fight, get a proper fact-finding mission why this went wrong. You know, let me um, ask you something, and I asked this, I was doing interviews on BBC and it was bloody edited out. The BBC asked me what were you doing on the day, right? I was there at a protest. I was a peaceful protester on the day. Now, when we had the May Day riots one day in, one year in London, yeah. What happened the following year? The police got caught out. Now Bradford was one of the last places for the riots. We had rights in Birmingham, we had 